Hey guys and welcome to Smash the Crate, the monthly series where my mom and I try everything in this month's Keto Crate. Today we are sampling everything in the January 2020, oh my god, I almost said 2019 like so Woo! bad, the January 2020 Keto Crate. If you want to watch that unboxing, go ahead and see it here on top of my mama's face. <gasps> it's, and, oh my god, it's, oh, oh no, what, what, what is it? Oh no, it's <laughs> lifting drink. Exactly. Go ahead and look forward. Thank also, if you want your own crate, you can use the link in the description box below to get 30% off your very first Keto Crate. So get all the items in here that we try. Mm -hmm. And then also at the end of this video, we're going to be drawing the winner of this Keto Crate, the giveaway that we have going. So stay tuned and uh, let's hop right into yes, it. The first thing it. we are going to do is open up this Milkadamia. We're going to give it a shake, shake, shake because, you know, this has got to get to a Pacific uh, temperature setting. Ooh, yeah. Oh, we get a shake, a bonus yeah. shake. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we are shaking the milk. This is milkadamia, macadamia nut milk, because we have some cereal that we're gonna try, but not before we cool our milk down to an icy, icy temperature. Uh, the first thing I can say is this pour is very thick, like traditional mm -hmm. milk. I am definitely here for that. So what we're gonna do is just, you know, that we're gonna have this here, mix it, let it cool off while we jump into the other items in this month's Keto Crate. <laughs> you know how I do, I like to start in the order from things that I think I'll like the least all the way to the most. Uh, and unfortunately today that puts us at the iota oh, umami scared. sunflower seeds, yeah. Ooh. I just think this is gonna be bad. Good thing we got our water because like, I just don't see how this is gonna be good, but please, please, yeah, please disappoint prove us. Prove me wrong. Yeah. Okay. What she say? Uh, okay. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Wow. This does appear to be. Oh, good. Resealable. This does not smell. You remember, I made the mistake of smelling oh, yeah. the other Ooh, uh, nuts. Fragrance. That was not good. No, that's an odor. Okay. Fragrance. <laughs> oh, no. Fragrance means We're that it's good. Odor is that it's bad. Okay, I mean, honestly, these don't smell like anything except sunflower seeds. So let's host, hope that they don't taste like anything but sunflower, but sunflower seeds. seeds. Okay. Can we just toss them back? Yeah, of course we're just going to toss them back. Ooh. Okay, and bam. I miss. This big old thing. Seeds everywhere. I mean, okay. they don't taste like anything. No, I, therefore, it's not bad. Correct. It's not horrible like anything. Want some more? I mean, yeah. They're bad. They're they're okay enough yeah. to where you're like, I have some more of these. Yeah, yeah you throw them in a salad. Mm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Or throw them in some of your sweet salty mm. or your almonds. No, and I wouldn't do that. This is more of like a to... salad. Mm mm. Okay. Same. But like these aren't inedible, and the other ones last time were inedible. Mm. Mm. I give these a tier two. Definitely not buying them. If someone gave them to me or I got them like at a meetup, I would keep them. Ah, uh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Mm. For my mom's sake, we're gonna get this out of the way. I know I'm gonna like this. This is just the cheese, jalapeno cheese. Oh, dried I cheese hope snack. It there. Well, I mean, no. Well, you're a hater. No, I'm just saying, but I, I know we are gonna, gonna love this. Hot as cheese. No, exactly. Look, me, I'm so not so expecting fast. this to be well, hot. I mean, you're right. I am expecting to be disappointed in the heat factor, but not in the flavor factor. I know for a fact that I love these and that this is going to be delicious. Look at this. Get some of that texture in there. Can you see that? Oh, yeah. Okay. To cheese. No. Okay. Oh. Mmm. I taste the jalapeno. Unfortunately, I did too. Mmm. <laughs> oh. Mmm. This is good. Oh. Great. See? Yeah. It's hot. Keeper. Oh no. This oh, is a tier one. Gracious. Do you know what I just found out about the Keto Crate? No. Is that at the end of the month, there's like a special members only store that like sells the leftover stuff. That way, if you like something in particular from a Keto Crate, you can go to the Keto Crate store and just buy your favorites from the Keto Crate. 
this is one of the things that I will be going to buy. That is delicious. Absolutely. If you love cheese, if you love jalapeno, that's a winner. That is a number one. Do we even have to open this meat stick? I already know I'm not going to like it. Well, I need to get this flavor. Mm -hmm. I already know I'm not going to like it. Okay, this is just a regular meat stick. I mean, big, big fork, craft pork stick. I'm just going to hate it. Why did it be so Ew. like so violent with it? Ew! No, no, keep that. I don't want. No, it's like gummy. It's jelly. No. Unfortunately, I hate meat sticks. Right. Yeah, I hate meat sticks. Well, I mean, some meat sticks aren't. No, you know, no, no, this no. This just doesn't happen to be one. No. I don't like it. I mean, it takes. Look, if you like meat sticks, you're gonna love that. That is just your run of the mill, regular old meat stick. Yes. I hate meat sticks. There are some that I do like, so. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's hop into this heck of good bar, yes. I think. And see if it named it's heck of good. Yeah. I think, like I said, we've had this recently, and I don't remember how I feel. Oh my God, this packaging is so oozy because there's like an MCT the oil bar in here bar. that has oozed everywhere. Well, you wanna put it on the Ooze fest. Ugh. Okay. Oh no, it's the heck of good bar. Oh, <gasps> it's the heck of good bar. Okay, this is nasty. Okay, it's not the bar's fault that it's so oily, but like it's like dripping. Yes, Look how dripping shiny down. that is. Ugh. I just, you know, bars that you have to keep at like a certain temperature because they get oily. Oh, just wow. yeah, they just freak me out. Okay, so we're gonna break that open. Oh, there's a chunk of peanut in chocolate chunk cookie dough. That's what we're doing now. Oh, it's peanut butter chocolate chunk. Oh, so this is a different flavor. So I don't hate that as much, but it is definitely a lot more oily than the last one was. We yeah, this is a. I need to. I need paper towel. I'm taking a bite of this. Okay, the whole thing. One, two, and four. Mm. So chewy, so not bad. It takes a minute to even get what the taste I know. is like. Now, what is the taste? Don't hate it, don't love it. It's supposed to be peanut butter. I give peanut because there are actual peanuts in it. But like, other yeah. than that, it's just super regular to me. Mm -hmm. It takes a while to even get what the flavor is tasting. Yeah, I mean, that's a tier two. That is, somebody gives it to me, it's staying in the pile. I'm eating it like right before it expires. But like, it's a tier that... I don't if do I'm at home like, and it's late and I really want something sweet and there's yeah. nothing there's else. There's literally nothing else. I mean, I would eat that. It's not nasty. That just right. doesn't, well, you know, correct. I'm at the point in my life where like, I want to eat things that I love. Yeah. yeah. And I'm just, yeah. that's just, that's yeah. just a filler so food. So it's not horrible. I don't want no, to. No, it's not horrible. And you might like, you yes. might love that. To me, that's just average. Something else I fear is going to be average is this dang bar. Like, for some reason, I can just never get with the texture of dang bars, but this is peanut butter, so let's see what's going on. Peanut butter Hopefully is Hopefully, I'm, I'm wrong. Look at that. I mean, just look. It is so weird looking. I know. That is odd. It's just so, like, the texture. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, uh, yeah. It just looks oh, like breaks and it's crumbly here. You can mm -hmm. have that, however much of that you think okay. you're going to want. I do see some, like, are these sesame seeds? That's interesting. Maybe flax seeds? I'm yeah, here for that. Possible. Okay. Let's go for it. No. I mean, okay. I will say, yeah, I, I like love that. the texture. I love, like, all the crunchy mm -hmm. bits, you know? But the flavor is just not there for me. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Oh! Yeah, I was, I was glad to wash that away. Something that I am interested in trying is this canoe tree. Okay. Uh, keto bar. This is double chocolate cookie dough. I don't really have much hope for things. But we shall see. Oh my God, though. What? Upon opening, this texture looks just like my favorite keto bar texture. That crumbly. I remember. Oh my gosh. I mean, this literally looks just like that bar. We're hoping it's delicious. Yes, I am hoping it's delicious. I mean, if the, you know. If, if she would buy with her own money. If the appearance is, is any indication. Okay. Mmm. I need to taste it. I haven't tasted it yet. It's the Keto Fit Bar. I'm trying to remember the brand. Okay. The Keto Fit Bar. Okay. Okay. Use your napkin. I know. I'm gonna eat the rest of this. This is good. 
definitely surpassed my expectations. Mm. Mm. I mean, we have other things to try out. Don't rush greatness. We back? Yes. And we're back. And we're back. No, that's too oh, much. Okay, like <laughs> okay, so next we have this Raw Rev Glow Creamy Peanut Butter and Sea Salt. Don't get the name, but I think I've had this bar before okay. and I like it. So uh, let's just hop into it. Rip it. No, rip okay, it. that's what I remember. Like this bar was like mushy. Wow. Like look, you can see. Yeah, look you that. can just tell that like it, it's crackly and break, oh, like breaks apart. Almost looks like a poop. I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's just like a tan poop. I'm serious. Ah! <laughs> Back like you never heard of it before. <laughs> Mom, doesn't it? I mean, it you feel so lazy. Long. Okay. <laughs> okay. But I do remember it. Now I have to eat this. That I do remember bad. liking the way that this tastes. So let's it's give great. it a try. It probably doesn't taste like poop. I don't know. I, I think I liked it last time more. No, not this time. Maybe we ruined it with our poop talk. We? Flavor's good, but flavor's not like. Rah! No. It's good. I'm sorry. <laughs> what's the What's the flavor not like? <laughs> it's not oh, overpowering yet. It's not overpowering. It's not artificial. It, it's it not tastes like like <laughs> like faint peanut butter. Huh? I, I like it. it. Yeah, I want the bang up. And finally. Yeah. Well, okay, first of all, we can't try these. We don't have time today, you guys, to actually bake up the brownie mix. To be honest, I don't expect this brownie mix to be too much different than any other brownie mix on the market. There's tons of them these days. The thing you wanna like look for in your brownie mix when you mix it all together and you bake it is that does it have that erythritol cooling effect okay. that brownies do, you know? So if you try these, if you've tried these, comment down below, let me know what you think. I find that the package mixes don't really have that erythritol effect and I would love for this one to be the same. So let me know if you've tried this. Unfortunately, we can't try it today, uh, but I do think it'll be good and I'm excited about trying it. Finally, the pièce de résistance. Uh, this Catalina Crunch, ooh, rubs hands together like Birdman. You didn't even know you were doing a pop culture meme right there, but you were. Yeah, yeah you really I'm here. Yeah, like rubs hands together like Birdman is like an actual thing. Comment down news. below if you know about that. This is the Catalina Crunch Maple Waffle Keto Friendly Cereal. Love waffle. So I'm excited about that. What I'm not excited about is that <laughs> the serving is three eighths of a cup. First of all, who's measuring three eighths of a cup? No, my serving is a cup. So first of all, we're gonna pour some in the bowl. Yes, ooh, look okay. at it. Oh, I honestly so bet, cute. I honestly oh. bet that's like two, two to three servings right there, which is a shame. Yeah. Okay. Shameful. First thing we're gonna do, try it dry. Okay. Cool. Are they are they shaped like little breads or just little oh. squares? Do you think? Yeah, some I'll of the say tops. I'll say waffles. Oh my God, maybe they're waffles, but wow. they, they, they got little oh, on the oh on one side though. They definitely got the grids on one side. Okay, let's try. Oh, that's great. No, I'm about, I'm about to, it's about to go down. Yeah, mm -hmm. that crunches. Oh, yeah, I'm that is that is a great dry texture. No. That might be my favorite dry texture anything that I have eaten. And this would go like in a Ziploc bag with me to work as a yeah. snack. I mean, that is great. The flavor kind of melts away and you are left with that proteiny yeah. type, but at the very, very end. At the very at end. At the right. very end. That is really good. Yes. This is really good. good. good okay, but now what we're gonna do, Oh my gracious! we're gonna mix it with the ice cold milkadamia. But first, before that, we're gonna give the milkadamia a try on its own. Trying this. Hmm, that tastes weird by itself to me. Oh, I mean, no. it kind of tastes like macadamia, but it's just like kind of like a weird water taste. Exactly what I meant. <laughs> That's exactly what she's saying. Literally exactly what I said. Okay, so now we are pouring the milk onto the cereal, and I can just tell you oh, the I'm man. excited about that. Okay, spoons in. I give a little milk yeah. mix around. Okay, once again, are you team like coat your cereal or team drown your cereal in milk? I think the older you get, the less milk that you need. Exactly. Okay. All right. I'm so happy. Bop, 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 bop. That is so good. A girl. Hand the 
ball back. Hand, you, better, you better hand the ball back. That's not getting a chance to get soggy. So don't ask me in the comments, but Autumn, does it get soggy if it sits there? I don't know because I've eaten it already. You know? Mmm. Okay, so in conclusion, this is delicious. Definite winner. I heard it was like, what, either $9 or $12? I mean, it's expensive, but like, you could get four decent sized servings yeah. of cereal for this to be like everything you need in a cereal. In a cereal you know? Right. Yes. Like, I'm here for this. This would only drink mixed with something. Exactly. That's very weird on its own. Yes. <sighs> Overall, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of pleased. Okay. You know, so we like had some, a B minus. Yeah, like we had some winners, some things I knew I knew we would like, some things that I'm glad we didn't hate. Wow, well, me too. Woo. And then there were definitely some things that I am going to that keto members only. Poo. Poo. <laughs> there are definitely some things that I'm going to that keto crate members only website and buying. You know, I think that is the sign of a good crate where it's like, I want more of that. I'm spending yes. my own money on it. And that's why I'm so grateful to the keto crate is it just exposes you to things yes. that you would not right, try exactly. otherwise. Or it just delivers you things that you know you love. Yes. And that is why I'm excited. I'm also excited because like now it's time for a giveaway. If you commented on the Keto Crate unboxing video that I posted a short while ago, uh, you have been entered in the drawing to win this very own Keto Crate. Through the magic of time and television, I'm gonna tell you who the winner of that is right now. Oh my God, congratulations! I don't know who it is. Like, look, your name's on the bottom right here. Uh, send me an email at watchautumnketo at gmail.com. So and I will send you this keto crate. You gotta let me know how you like the cereal. Like, is it us? Is we tripping? Or like, is this the truth? You know what I'm saying? And nothing but it. Yeah, hello. Okay, well that's all. Until next month, we will be trying snacks and we will see you then. Yes. Bye! Bye.